hey guys welcome to back to my channel i just wanted to share with you guys how i get prepared for ramadan how i'm getting prepared for ramadan and if you want to see how i get prepared for ramadan please keep on watching there's a lot of islamic books out there but personally i like to read the quran i just like to read the quran it's just easier for me I prefer to read the Quran that has a, like translation and transliteration because I can read Arabic but I do not understand each detail of like Arabic. I do not understand Arabic so much. So I prefer to just have like a Quran that has both the translation and transliteration. So in case if I'm like reading and I want to understand what this like a particular verse means, I just go read it. And if you are like me that wants to know what you're reading, I think transliteration Quran is like the best for you. But if you want to read like the normal Quran, it's also fine. And I also listen to podcasts. I just listen to lectures about life and Ramadan and how to prepare. And my personal favorite is Mufti Mink. I like listening to his lectures a lot. Like, I resonate with his lectures a lot. So, I like to write down my goals. I like to always set goals for Ramadan. It is very important if you do not set goals for yourself. This is the time for you to start because writing down your goals will just make you like. I just feel like writing things on paper just makes it like legal you just be like okay i have to do this i have written it down and inshallah i will write this down but also i just be like don't shoot too high because people tend to shoot too high when it comes to their goals they'll be like oh i'll do this i'll do that i'll do this and it most times doesn't work like when i first started i always um like write a lot of things that i'm going to do i'm going to be do this but like come to the end of ramadan like i did not I, I didn't do anything like i did not execute anything so like i don't like to shoot too high i just like to be realistic with myself on things i know i could do and alhamdulillah it has worked out so far my main goal is to do better than last year do more of what i did last year and inshallah to be possible So for skincare, I always like to look for light with moisturizer. If you guys don't know, I live in a very, very hot climate. Like the weather where I stay, I stay in Abuja, Nigeria. The weather is really, really hot. And I can only imagine how hot it's going to get during Ramadan. So the goal is to get a very fast and effective skincare. So I just look for light with moisturizers, no unnecessary oils. I try to get like a moisturizer that will work simple. And it's effective because the time you put too much oil on your skin and it's really hot outside i don't think you will enjoy yourself because like the weather is going to be so hot your skin will be breathing hard so it's, you will just hate yourself also i try to drink a lot of water because just to like drink a lot of water i don't know how scientifically proven it is but i just feel like if i drink a lot of water before ramadan starts like a few days before ramadan start it was going to help me during ramadan a little like my skin isn't going to just break out like because the heat is a lot even though i know i know i'll not be able to drink water during ramadan when we are fasting i just think it is just to help myself before it starts drink a lot of water to help my skin because abuja the sun is out and it's shining bright and it is really hot how do you know ramadan is coming without shopping it's it's not possible so guys when it comes to the ramadan when it comes to ramadan shopping everything becomes extra everything becomes super super extra everything becomes very special my special tea my special ramadan chocolate my special ramadan yogurt my special ramadan biscuit everything just becomes special because this glorious month everybody's just trying to be like extra you just get things and just be like oh i need to have this i need to have this i need to have this if you go around to any Muslim home, we especially where I stay, I it is crazy because when you get to the malls, every mall is filled to the brim. Like there is no space. Everybody is shopping, excess shopping just to be just to be safe. Like because during Ramadan, you get to have like a lot of people come to your houses for iftar and like the, sh the cooking is just more than no like the normal time. So this is the time that everybody just goes the extra mile to shop because you're going to have guests you're going to break fast you're going to go to the fish market you're going to go to the fruit market everybody basically you're just going to go to a lot of market and do a lot of shopping so ahead of ramadan i try to change my sleeping pattern like my sleeping times because i'm going to be waking up 
extra early now you wake up by 3 30 4 a.m during ramadan so the goal for me before ramadan is to change my sleeping times and my sleeping method because normally i sleep around like 12 midnight and we wake up like 7 so the goal now is to like sleep early super early so that i can wake up super early also like sleep really early wake up really early so i can be able to like pray and do everything i want to do before it's time to like stop eating and like start the day for fasting and i hope you guys enjoyed the first vlog and i can't wait to see you guys in my next ramadan daily thank you so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow madame mubarak <laughs>